My name is Artem. Victor. AT311 Larry Haw midterm project. We're doing the bounce test, manual test, and removing a strut. Perform a balance test. The bumper is pushed downward with a considerable weight applied on each corner of the vehicle. The bumper is released after this action and one free upward bounce should stop the vertical chassis movement. If the shock absorber strut provides proper spring control, shock absorber replacement is required if more than one free upward bounce occurs. Do the manual test. The first thing to be done is raising the vehicle on the lift. Next, do a visual inspection. Next, grasp, and grasp the lower shock absorber tube and attempt to move the shock absorber vertically and horizontally to check for looseness and wear on the shock absorber bushing and mounting bolt. Also grasp the upper shock absorber cover and attempt to move it vertically and horizontally to check for looseness and wear on the shock absorber mounting bushing and mounting bolt. Next, disconnect the lower shock absorber mounting and grasp the lower end of the shock absorber. Move the shock up and down as rapidly as possible. Satisfactory shock absorber should offer a strong steady resistance to movement on the entire compression and rebound stroke. Install the lower shock absorber mounting and tighten the mounting bolt to the specified torque. The top of the strut assembly is mounted directly to the chassis of the car. With the top strut bolts or nuts removed, raise the car to a working height. Remove the wheel assembly. The strut is accessible from the wheel well after the wheel is removed.
Remove the strut to steering knuckle bolts. Take out the shut.